Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to add the video content in the HTML document. Let's try to see it. In the previous video, we have completed adding of the images in the HTML document and we have seen the appropriate element for that one like IMG element. Now in this video, we will see how we can add the video content, videos or anything. So in the HTML document, let's try to see it. Web development, web developers have wanted to use video and audio on the web for a long time, ever since the early 2000s. So in the early 2000s onwards, all the web developers want to use the video and audio on the HTML document. When we started to have bandwidth fast enough to support any kind of video. So previously, pre uh, before the early 2000s, we don't have the bandwidth of the internet. The internet is very slow, right? So buffering of these videos and all those things will be a tedious thing. So when we have the bandwidth fast enough and all those things, so the web developers, web, developer, web developers thought of that to have the video and audio on the HTML content also. In the early days, native web technologies such as HTML didn't have the ability to embed video and audio on the web. So proprietary or plugin based technologies like Flash and later Silverlight these technologies became popular for handling such content. So in the early days, the HTML doesn't have the support to embed the or otherwise to add the to show the video and audio on the web. So uh, so HTML most probably rely on the technologies which are not right now are absolute. So like Flash, Silverlight, these technologies, uh, the HTML will depend heavily on to show the video and audio content. This kind of technology worked okay. So at the time, so using the technologies like flash and the silver light worked OK, but it had a number of problems, including not working well with the HTML CSS features and also security issues and also accessibility issues. So these are the problems raised when we are using the silver light and the flash for showing the web uh, video in the web. A few years, a few years later, the HTML5 specification. So when the HTML5 specification came, had such features added there in the HTML5 the features that lay in few years later the features has been added with the video and the audio elements so these are the two elements for adding this video and the audio so right now we are learning about the video let's try to see about the video and some shiny new JavaScript APIs also for controlling them so that means for video when you are trying to see the video you will be having a controllers like play pass rewind fast forward these buttons are there right so that means for controlling the video so JavaScript new APIs also has been introduced. Now the video element. So we understood that the video element is the element HTML element which is used to embed the video in the web. The video element allows you to embed a video very easily. A really simple example looks like this. So video, video element. So it will add, it will embed the video in the web page very easily. So the simple example is down video open the elements uh, so it is having two attributes source attribute which is taking the source and the value and the controls which is a boolean attribute and inside this between the video open tag and the close tag we are having a paragraph that it is saying your browser doesn't support the html5 video here is a link to download this video instead so this is the ht uh, this is the paragraph text it was wrapped between the open and the closed video tags let's try to see what is the what are the different types of attributes that are there in this video source and the controls and what is this paragraph element inside this video element let's try to see it so in the same way in the same way as per the image element the source attribute contains a path to the video you want to embed it works in, in exactly the same way we have already learned about this uh, img element source attribute right in the same way the video element source attribute also works in the same way so the, we will be giving the path for that one. Either it may be a relative URL path or the absolute URL path. Let's try to see about the another one. Users must be able to control video and the audio playback. So that means uh, we have discussed right the controlling the video, pass, play, forward, and rewind these things. You must either either use the controls attribute to include the browser's own control interface. So now you have if when you add this controls boolean attribute into the video element. So the browser will automatically uh, gives the own control interface or you can also if you want you can build your own interface using the appropriate JavaScript API as we already discussed in the previous thing right 
HTML5 video and el audio element when it was introduced. So we also they, they also introduced the JavaScript API for controlling the videos. So if you want, you can also use those JavaScript APIs for controlling the video. Or otherwise, the browser also, if you want to, the browser, let's decide the control interface you want to give the default means. So the browser itself will give if you add the control attribute. The paragraph inside the video tags. So this is called as a fallback content. So what is this one? This will be displayed if the browser accessing the page doesn't support the video element, allowing us to provide a fallback for the older browsers. So now we, as we as I already told you that HTML5 has the video and audio element. So for example, let's say that the older browsers, which are IE browsers, older things, so doesn't know about the HTML5 latest elements. So if those browsers don't understand this video elements and audio elements, then it will it will show the content whatever you have added in between the paragraph element. That is the browser doesn't support these all the things, right? So it will come as a fallback content. So this, this is the use of this paragraph between the video tag. Older browsers like Internet Explorer or even an older version of Safari, the video won't play because different browsers supports different video formats. Fortunately, these there are things you can do to help prevent this from being a problem. Now let's try to say that. Uh, older browsers like Internet Explorer, so they do, they, if they didn't support this HTML audio or video element, it's fine. For example, let's say that we are trying to add a video of, of, a, of a particular format, something let's say that WebM format, MPEG format, so AVI format, so like this we'll be having some formats, video formats. Some older browsers can't able to understand those formats. So if you if you introduce the MP4 format and if, and if the old version of Safari doesn't know about this mp4 format but it, but it will support the video element html element but it doesn't know that the video how to play that video it doesn't have any uh, it doesn't know anything so in that scenario also we can we can have the we can have the solution for that one so let's try to see it so here if you try to see here video controls controls is the attribute which the browser gives the default controls and here inside this video you are having two uh, two two elements that is nothing but source element so what is this source element? This is a new element source and instead of having this SRC attribute for the video, we are having the SRC attribute for the source. So source, so something rabbit320.mp4 and we are mentioning another one type attribute for the source video slash mp4. We are telling the type of the video and another one also we are seeing that for the second one source rabbit320.webm. So this time we are giving webm format for the second source and we are telling the type of this video also as video slash webm. And the third element is nothing but the fallback content. So what we are saying that if the video element itself is not supported by the browser, then it will go to this fallback content. So now here in this video, it is taking the multiple source attributes. One is the MP4 format and also the WebM format. Now if you open in the browser, so whichever the format supports by the browser, if the browser supports this MP4 format means it will take that MP4 format. If the browser doesn't support the MP4 format, but it supports the WebM format also, not a problem. We have already given the source for this WebM format. So it will try to play the video from the WebM thing. So in this way, we can give the multiple video formats in the single video the, uh, video element. So instead of giving the source, at attribu source attribute for the video element, we can give, we can add inside this one, create a new source element and we can give the two attributes source and the type. Here we have taken the SRC attribute out of the actual video tag and instead included separate source elements that point to their own sources. So this is the thing we have discussed, right? So we have removed the source element out of this actual video element and we have added a new two source elements. So we are having a separate source elements pointing to their own sources. In this case, the browser will go through the source elements and play the first one that it has the codec to support. So whichever it has the codec support, it will play that, that video. Each source element also has a type attribute. If you try to see, the each source element is also having a type attribute. What is this type attribute? What is the use of this type attribute? So this is optional. Actually, this is optional, but it is advised to include it. So, but it is advised that you include it. The type attribute contains the MIME type of the file specified by the source. And a browser can use the type to immediately skip videos they don't understand. So instead of trying to play that video and uh, checking that if it supports or not, so directly the browser reads the type thing. And if the type is supported by this uh, 
browser means it will play that video or otherwise it will skip to that next next source if the type isn't included so if that if we didn't add the type attribute for the each source element means the browsers will load and try to play each file until they find one that works which obviously takes time and it is an unnecessary use of resources okay so this is the this is, this is the thing so if you don't include this type attribute so the browser tries to play each source so whichever is supported so it will try to check those all things so it will take some time and unnecessary use of resources so apart from this also there are number of other features you can include when displaying html video we'll try to see other, uh, other time first let's see the practical implementation how we can add the video in the html so here i what i am trying to do is i am trying to create a new file that is video dot html okay so this is the new file i am creating and here i am using the html5 so the snippet i am taking and in this snippet what i will try to do is so here i am adding a video element so this is the video element i am adding now here in this video element what i will try to do is so here i will close this video element and inside this one we need to write the fallback content that is the browser your browser doesn't support doesn't support the now uh, what i can say html5 html5 video player okay we can use like this and what i need to do so here i need to add the source attribute src is equal to let's say that i am using hi.mp4 which doesn't exist let's say we'll keep it like this and we need to add the controls also so now let's try to uh, see the output without adding the controls now i am opening this one in the live server so let's open this one and here if you try to see you are not able to see anything fallback content also we are not seeing that means the video element is supported by my browser now the controls are not able to show why because we haven't added the controls attribute let's try to add the controls attribute here controls okay now if i add this controls attribute let's try to check the output so as soon as i add the controls attribute the browser defaultly added the controls such that play button and the timer of this video the sound the sound uh, volume volume thing and the full screen and also some of the options it has given but the video is unable to play why because the video doesn't exist so apart from this one we can also add another type of declaration that is nothing but allowing the multiple source files so here i can use the same thing video and i am using the controls here so here i can close this one so here we will be having a source attribute okay so source source element sorry and this one have a source src attribute and here i will try to give hi.mp4 and we need to give the mime type for this one so type is equal to i need to mention something like video slash mp4 okay so this is the source element and another one is the another source also we can mention that is nothing but webm format so why which are the format you have so you can mention all the source links here and if you want you can also add this fallback content also so you can add this fallback content also so now we have added this fallback content now hi.mp4 and hi.webm this these two fi video files were existing and we have added these two files into this video and also we have added this type also we, which type this video is belongs to this one belongs to the mp4 so this because of that reason i have added video slash mp4 and for the webm i have added video slash webm now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output the same output will be repeated but it is trying to play the video but it is unable to play it why because these two files didn't exist so this is how we will be creating the video element in the html so this is how we'll show the video in the html document hope you understood about this video in the next video we'll try to see what are the controls if you want to add some of the if you want to skip some of the controls and if you want if you want to add some of the controls means so what are the features that are available for this video let's try to see in this next video hope you understood about this video element if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you